Indiana online shoppers can expect to pay a sales tax in the future when buying from Amazon.com. The state reached an agreement with that internet retailer today. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth looked into what this means to the state, and he joins us now with more. Randy? Well, Mark and Heather, this agreement, or shoppers have some time before this agreement goes into effect. It's set to start at the beginning of 2014. Right now, when shoppers buy online, they're supposed to pay the sales tax come April, but they don't always do that. And that missed revenue adds up to about $75 million Indiana misses out on each year. Today, Indiana became the fourth state to reach a sales tax agreement with Amazon.com. All those who sell remotely, uh, internet catalog or otherwise, uh, ought as soon as possible to be collecting what is duly owed, the taxes uh, owed Indiana and most other states. Governor Daniels and State Representative Wynn Moses agreed the issue of web-based businesses collecting sales tax should be addressed in Washington. It needs to be solved by Congress, and I hope that they do. Different states are not pitted against each other. Governor Daniels' approach here is essentially uh, to continue for another two years a, a tax gift of about $25 million a, a year, and then at that point we'll begin to tax them all. Uh, I suppose there's some merit to that, but we're giving up a lot of money in that time period for only a, a few jobs. All Moses added that businesses in Indiana have lost customers who are now shopping online. Sam Hyde owns a bookstore in Fort Wayne. He says he noticed his customers going online a few years ago. Well, he didn't think about tax consequences until maybe five or six years ago. It just became obvious that that was one factor in the, the buy decision. When somebody goes to that, they save 7%. Hyde doesn't see the agreement changing his store sales, but he says it at least puts bricks and mortar stores on a more equal footing with online retailers. I don't think the impact is great, but. It's the justice of it. I mean, it is level playing field, fairness, whatever you want to call it. Now, Moses says the $75 million in online sales taxes the state misses out on is enough to fund full day kindergarten for a year. We've asked our Facebook fans their thoughts on today's agreement, and the response is mixed so far. And Heather Mark, you can read those comments by visiting our Facebook page. All right, thanks, Randy.